so in this class we will study about electronic instruments so uh, in electronic instruments we will study about multimeter electronic voltmeter and cathode ray oscilloscope this is also known as cro okay so first of all we will have to understand about electronic instruments what are electronic instruments so electronic instruments are the instruments which are used for measuring electronic quantities so what are the electronic or electrical quantities suppose we want to measure the resistance then we can use electronic instrument to measure the resistance similarly if we want to measure current measure voltage then we can use electronic instrument to measure these quantities similarly suppose we want to determine the frequency of the waveform then time period of the waveform then also we can measure these quantities by using electronic instruments so electronic instruments are the instruments which are used for measuring electronic quantities or electrical quantities for example resistance current voltage frequency etc okay so first of all we will study about multimeter so you can see this multimeter is also an electronic instrument it is used for measuring multi multi means many electrical quantities so what are these many multi means many okay so it is used for measuring many electrical or electronic quantities so what are the quantities that can be measured by using multimeter you can write resistance current and voltage so these are the quantities that can be measured by using a multimeter okay so we can measure resistance and ac and dc current and voltage ac and dc current and voltage okay so we can measure these three quantities by using a multimeter okay then you can say a uh, multimeter is basically it is it is made up of a pmmc meter pm and c meter or d d or solar meter or pmmc meter or galvanometer you can write or or galvanometer okay so this is the diagram of pmmc or or galvanometer okay so this consists of a coil this is a coil and permanent magnet this is north pole and this is south pole okay and this is the pointer and this is scale okay so if the current if the current i passes through this coil then due to the presence of magnetic field due to the presence of magnetic field a torque that is td which is known as deflection torque which is known as deflection torque it is produced because of the flow of current in this coil and this coil this coil is in the magnetic field of permanent magnet why it is known as permanent magnet moving coil this this is permanent magnet and moving coil this is moving in the magnetic field 
in the magnetic field okay so if the current is passed through the coil then it produces the deflection torque because of this deflection torque the pointer starts moving okay so this deflection torque is directly proportional to the current that is flowing through this coil okay and this this starts moving and it is controlled it is controlled by restoring torque you can write restoring torque as tr so this pointer stops at some time due to the restoring torque which is due to the presence of the spring spring in this coil okay so when the deflection torque is equal to restoring torque then the pointer stops okay then we can measure the quantity okay so when when td that is deflection torque when deflection torque that is td it is equal to restoring torque deflection torque is provided by the presence of current which is flowing in the coil and restoring torque it is provided by the spring by the spring okay so when deflection torque is equal to restoring torque then only the pointer stops at some point then we can measure the quantity okay so this td it is directly proportional to current just i told and tr it is directly proportional to the theta angle so you can see say that i is directly proportional to theta okay so current can be measured by using pmmc meter okay so this is the basic principle of pmmc or galvanometer okay so a uh, multimeter is basically made of pmmc meter so we have seen that a multimeter consists of a pmmc meter because of the presence of pmmc meter we can measure current voltage and resistances by using multimeter so how first of how uh, voltage can be measured how voltage can be measured by using pmmc or galvanometer since multimeter you can see multimeter it is made up of pmmc okay now pmmc can be used to measure voltage pmmc can be used to measure current pmmc can be used to measure resistances by suitable modification in the circuit okay so how first of all we can see how voltage can be measured by using pmmc or galvanometer okay suppose this is a galvanometer it has some internal resistance which is represented by rm this is the voltage that we want to measure v this is series resistance and i m which is equal to i f s d okay now a galvanometer it is specified by r m and i m where rm is internal resistance 
internal resistance of galvanometer or PMMC meter and IM which is equal to IFSD this is equal to full scale deflection current IFSD it is equal to full scale deflection current in the PMMC meter okay it is clear to all of you so suppose a galvanometer it has a full scale deflection of 0.1 milliampere and it has internal resistance of 500 ohm okay see this is the configuration of the galvanometer or pmmc meter okay so it can measure this is IFSD, it is equal to 0.1 milliampere and RM is given like this. RM is equal to say 500. Okay. So, its current sensitivity of this PMC meter, it is equal to 0.1 milliampere. So, how much maximum voltage it can measure? You can see it is maximum voltage it is equal to I F S D into R M. So it is equal to 0.1 milliampere into 500 ohm. So it is equal to how much? It is equal to 50 millivolt. So the maximum voltage that it can measure is 50 millivolt. So you can see the voltage drop between these two points. It is say 50 millivolt. Now suppose you want to measure say 10 volt DC then what you have to connect what you have to connect in this circuit so that 10 volt can be measured by using this galvanometer or by using this pmmc meter okay then we have to use one series resistance so this rs is is series resistance that is connected in series with the galvanometer to increase the range of voltage for measurement suppose without without connecting any series resistance it can measure only 50 millivolt suppose we want to measure 10 volt then we have to connect one series resistance whose value is uh, is somewhat more it is a higher high resistance or it is known as series resistance which is connected in series with the galvanometer or this PMMC meter okay so suppose this voltage up to this voltage suppose we want to increase the measurement of voltage to V. Okay, so we can write V is equal to I M into R S. This is I M plus I N into R M. We can write this V V it is equal to IM or IFSD full scale deflection current IM is equal to full scale deflection current so it is IM into this RS RS is series resistance plus 
I n into R m. R m is the internal resistance of this PMMC meter. So you can write V divided by I m. It is equal to R s plus R m. So from this equation, we can get R s. It is equal to V by I m. Minus R M. Okay. So if we connect a series resistance R S, it is equal to V by I M minus R M. Then it can measure up to V volt. Okay. So in this case, you can see if you want to increase from 50 milli volt to 10 volt. Suppose we want to measure 10 volt by using this galvanometer. Then how we can determine R S? Suppose R M is equal to 500 ohm and I M, which is equal to I F S D, full scale deflection current, it is equal to 0.1 milli ampere. This is the configuration of the PMMC meter. Suppose we want to, so by using this configuration, it can measure a voltage of 50 milli volt. Suppose we want to increase the measurement of voltage. From 50 millivolt to zero to you can say zero to 10 volt. If you want to measure zero to 10 volt, then what we have to connect R S. So in this case, R S is equal to V. V means 10 volt divided by I M. I M is the full scale deflection current. It is 0.1 milli ampere minus R M is the internal resistance of the galvanometer or PMMC meter. It is equal to 500 ohm. So finally, we can get R S is equal to 10. Divided by 0.1 into 10 to the power minus 3 minus 500 ohm. 100 k minus 0.5 k. So it is equal to 99.5 kilo ohm. Okay, so if if so if R S equal to 99.5 kilo ohm is connected in series with this galvanometer or PMC meter, then it can measure. Up to 10 volt DC, up to 10 volt DC. So in this way, the range of this galvanometer can be increased. Earlier it was measuring 50 millivolt. Now it can measure up to 10 volt DC. Okay. So we can we can increase the range. By connecting one series resistance in series with the galvanometer. Okay. Now suppose we want to use a galvanometer whose I F S D it is equal to again 0.1 milli ampere and R M it is equal to say 500 ohm. Okay. So this is the specification of PMMC meter. Or galvanometer. Okay. Now, if you want to 
increase the range of voltage measurement from 50 millivolt earlier it is measuring 50 millivolt now if you want to increase the range to we have seen for 10 volt for 50 volt for 100 volt and for 500 volt from 0 to 10 0 to 50 0 to 100 and then 0 to 500 volt okay how we can connect for this what what would be the value of rs1 for this what will be the value of rs2 what will be the value of rs3 and what will be the value of rs4 so that we can measure these voltages okay so for this what we have to do say this is rs1 rs2 rs3 and then rs4 
finding rs3 what we can do we have to put v as 100 so rs3 it is equal to v in this case v is equal to 100 so 100 volt divided by in is 0.1 milliampere minus rm where where is our rm is 500 ohm so it is equal to 100 volt divided by 10 to the power minus 4 ampere minus 500 ohm so it is equal to 1 0 0 0 kilo ohm minus 500 ohm so it is equal to 999.5 kilo ohm it is equal to 999.5 kilo ohm ok so we can write rs3 is equal to 999.5 kilo ohm similarly how we can find rs4 rs4 it is equal to v by i m v4 by i m minus r m so it is equal to what is v4 v4 is equal to 500 volt divided by i m it is equal to 0.1 milliampere minus r m is 500 ohm so it is equal to 5000 kilo ohm minus 500 ohm so it is equal to 4999.5 kilo ohm ok so it is equal to 4999.5 kilo ohm 499.5 kilo ohm so you can see this is switch this is switch so if this switch is connected at at point a this a b c and b this these are the points so if this switch is connected to point a then it can measure so then, in, then the current flowing through RS2, current flowing through RS3 and current flowing through RS4, it will be equal to 0. Okay? Then it can measure V1, it can measure V1 voltage, means it can measure from 0 to 10 volt. Similarly, if switch is connected at position B, then it can measure V2 voltage from 0 to 50 volt. Similarly, if this switch is connected at point C, it can measure V3 means 0 to 100 volt. Similarly, this, if this switch is connected to point D, then in this case RS4 it is equal to 4999.5 kilo ohm. Then in that case, it can measure DC voltage of 0 to 500 volt. In this way, voltage can be measured by using PMMC meter. So in this figure, we can see that DC voltage, that is V1, V2, V3 and V4, it can be measured, means from 0 to 10 volt, from 0 to 50 volt, from 0 to 100 volt and from 0 to 500 volt. It can be measured by using this PMMC meter if we are connecting the series resistance. For measuring V1, we have to connect series resistance that is 99.5 kilo ohm. So this is switch. So for measuring V1, what we have to do, this switch is connected at point A, at point A. So you can see this and the current in, in RS2, RS3 and RS4, 
current is equal to zero because it is not connected this point b c and d it is not connected anywhere it is floating so current flow current is equal to zero in these resistors okay so it can measure v1 v2 v3 v4 by by the use of this switch s so if switch s is connected at point b then it can measure v2 if this switch s is connected at point c it can measure v3 if this switch s is connected at point d it can measure v4 that is up to 500 volt it can measure okay so it can measure dc voltage but how we can measure ac voltage also by using this pmmc meter for this we have to use this circuit we have to use bridge rectifier we have to use a full wave rectifier circuit okay what is the function of full wave rectifier circuit full wave rectifier circuit it converts ac to dc it converts ac to dc okay so the the same circuit rs1 rs2 rs3 and rs4 these are the series resistances so by by connecting series resistances rs1 rs2 rs3 and rs4 we can measure different ac voltages and this pmmc meter it is calibrated for measuring rms value of ac measurement for ac voltage measurement you can write this pmc meter it is calibrated for the measurement of rms value of the of the measured quantity so here the measured quantity is voltage ac voltage so we can get the rms value okay so in this way we can also measure ac voltage and this you have seen for dc voltage so a pmc can be used for measuring voltage okay now we can see how current can be measured see this is pmmc meter okay so a voltage in case of voltage measurement a series resistance of high value is connected in series with the galvanometer but for the measurement of current what we have to do this is rsh shunt resistance you can see this is rsh and you can write like this this is current i and this current is im or ifsd and this is internal rm is internal resistance of the pmmc meter this is pmmc meter Okay, and this is RSS is what RSS is is shunt resistance. Okay, so a shunt resistance can be used for the for changing PMMC to to measure the current. So this this is what. this is emitter so what is the function of emitter emitter detects the current em emitter measures the current okay so this is the total current that that we want to measure okay so this is pmmc meter or galvanometer okay so 
we have to connect one shunt resistance so as to increase the to increase the im to increase the current sensitivity of this meter okay see suppose ifsd it is equal to 0.1 milliampere again the same case rm it is equal to 500 ohm so by using this pmmc meter whose configuration is ifsd which is equal to im it is equal to 0.1 milliampere and rm is equal to 500 ohm by using this galvanometer we can measure up to 0.1 milliampere only correct but with the same rm suppose 500 ohm this is equal to rsh if rsh is equal to say 500 ohm is connected in parallel in sun in sun with this pmc meter then this im it is equal to 0.1 milliampere since rm is also equal to 500 ohm both are 500 ohm so current will be divided so this is uh, this is also ish this is also equal to 0.1 milliampere so what is i i is equal to im plus ish so it is equal to 0.2 milliampere earlier its configuration was up to it can measure only 0.1 milliampere now if we are connecting one sun resistance whose value is the same rm so in that case we are increasing it to 0.2 milliampere so this emitter this complete configuration is emitter so this can measure up to 0.2 milliampere of current okay so we can see how we can make general formula for this voltage drop at see these are the two points a and b voltage drop at this point a and b what it is equal to it is equal to i fsd or im you can write you can write im into rm it is equal to i sh into r sh can we write from this formula this from this figure you can see voltage drop at ab it is equal to the current flowing at, along this path into the internal resistance of this pmc meter and it should be equal to the voltage drop at this resistor this resistor is shunt resistor rsh so the current flowing through this shunt resistor it is ish and rsh is the value of shunt resistance okay so we can write how we can find rsh it is equal to im into rm divided by ish so we can write like this im into rm divided by what is this ish ish we can get it is equal to the total current i minus im it is equal to i minus im so if we want to increase where uh, where im is the is the full scale deflection current of the pmc meter rm is the internal resistance of pmc meter im is again again full scale deflection current of pmc meter and i is the current that you want to measure this is uh, where i is more than im okay so you can see so we can see in this case how we can find rsh 
सपोज आई इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट टू मिली एम्पियर यू वॉन्ट टू मेजर पॉइंट टू मिली एम्पियर देन वॉट विल बी द वैल्यू ऑफ आर एस एच आर एस एच इज इक्वल टू आई एम वॉट इज आई एम आई एम इज पॉइंट वन मिली एम्पियर इन टू वॉट इज आर एम इट इज फाइव हंड्रेड ओम डिवाइडेड बाई आई आई इज पॉइंट टू पॉइंट टू मिली एम्पियर माइनस आई एम इज पॉइंट वन मिली एम्पियर सो इट इज इक्वल टू दिस इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट वन मिली एम्पियर इन टू फाइव हंड्रेड ओम डिवाइडेड बाई पॉइंट वन मिली एम्पियर सो इट इज इक्वल टू फाइव हंड्रेड ओम विच इज इक्वल टू फाइव हंड्रेड ओम सो इन दिस फिगर ऑल्सो यू कैन सी आर एस एच इट इज इक्वल टू फाइव हंड्रेड ओम सो इफ वी आर कनेक्टिंग सन रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ वैल्यू फाइव हंड्रेड ओम देन दिस दिस कैन मेजर द करेंट ऑफ वैल्यू पॉइंट टू मिली एम्पियर वी वॉन्ट टू मेजर करेंट I1, I2 and I3. It is equal to say 1 milli ampere, 10 milli ampere and 100 milli ampere. By using PMMC, by using PMMC, then how we can design? So suppose we want to measure DC current I1, I2 and I3, whose value is 1 milli ampere 10 milli ampere and 100 milli ampere okay by using pmmc meter whose in is equal to 0.1 milli ampere and rm is equal to 500 ohm okay so by using alone this pmmc meter we can measure im which is equal to full scale deflection current it is equal to 0.1 milli ampere so by not connecting any sunt resistance this meter can measure up to 0.1 milli ampere only current dc current but if you want to measure higher currents higher dc currents that is i1 is equal to 1 milli ampere i2 is equal to 10 milli ampere and i3 is equal to 100 milli ampere then what we can do just like earlier case we have to connect sunt resistance sunt resistance rsh1 RSS two, RSS three, in parallel with with this PMMC meter, okay. And this is switch S is switch, okay. Now, how we can determine RSS one? RSS one it is equal to it is equal to I M into R M divided by I minus I M. So we can get What is I M? I M is 0.1 milli ampere. What is R M? R M is 500 ohm divided by what is I? Here I is I one that we want to measure up to 1 milli ampere. So I is 1 milli ampere minus what is I M? 0.1 milli ampere. So it is equal to 10 to the power minus 4 ampere into 500 ohm divided by 1 milli means 10 to the power minus 3 minus 10 to the power minus 4 ampere. So it is equal to it is equal to what it is equal to it is equal to we can write 10 to the power minus 4 into 500 divided by 10 to the power minus 3 1 minus 10 to the power minus 1 this is ohm 10 to the power minus 1 into 500 divided by 1 minus 10 to the power minus 
ohm so we can write like this it is equal to 50 divided by 1 minus 0.1 so it is equal to 0.9 ohm so it is equal to 55.55 ohm so we can get RSH is equal to 55.55 ohm so if we connect a shunt resistance whose value is equal to 55.55 ohm then this behaves as an emitter which can measure from 0 to 1 milli ampere of current 1 0 to 1 milli ampere of DC current okay so this behaves as an emitter this emitter for measuring I2 and I3 we have to connect RSH2 RSH3 how we can get RSH2 that is we can determine by using this formula you can write I is equal to I2 okay so so it is equal to again it is equal to IM is 0 0.1 milli ampere into RM is 500 ohm divided by I2 what we want to measure 10 milli ampere minus IM is 0.1 milli ampere so equal to 5.05 ohm 5.05 ohm okay so RSH2 it is equal to 5.05 ohm similarly how we can get RSH3 we can get RSH3 by using this formula so again here IM is 0 0.1 milli ampere into RM is 500 ohm I3 is equal to 100 milli ampere minus IM is 0 0.1 milli ampere so 0 0.50 ohm so RSS3 it is equal to 0 0.50 ohm so in this way this PMMC or this galvanometer can be used to make an emitter which can measure I1, I2, I3 how it can measure I1, I2, I3 it can measure I1, I2, I3 by connecting RSH1, RSS2 and RSS3 and by using this switch so if you want to measure I1 then this switch should be at position A this switch has to be connected to point A similarly if you want to measure I2 this switch must be at position B similarly if you want to measure I3 then this switch must be at position C in this way we can measure current I1, current I2 and current I3 these are DC currents so how we can measure AC current you can see for measuring AC current we have to use rectifier circuit what is the function of rectifier circuit rectifier circuit converts AC to DC after converting AC to DC then the same working principle it follows ok so the same formula it is using to determine the value of shunt resistance so the function of this this rectifier is to convert AC voltage to DC voltage this RSH1, RSS2, RSH3 these are the three resistances and these are the three I1, I2 and I3 these are the three currents ok so we can measure AC currents so uh, this uh, PMMC meter 
is calibrated to measure RMS value of AC current. In this way, by using rectifier circuit, we can measure AC current also. Okay. You have seen in this class what is the use of multimeter. Okay. A multimeter is an electronic device which can be used for the measurement of AC and DC current, AC and DC voltage and resistance. A multimeter consists of a PMMC meter or galvanometer. Okay? So, a galvanometer can be used to measure DC as well as AC current, to measure DC as well as AC voltage. Okay? So, for measuring AC current or AC voltage, we have to use a rectifier circuit. What is the function of rectifier circuit? The rectifier circuit converts AC to DC. Okay? So, in this way, we can measure current voltage by using multimeter. Then we will see how to measure the resistance. Okay? Thank you.